Hello, Meg Miller, Adult Services Librarian here at Pflugerville Public Library, bringing you another virtual laser cutter craft. This month's material was felt, and the craft that we're doing is a felt pennant. I want to send a thank you to our volunteer, Luke, for sharing his file with me after I saw this project that they did. I really wanted to share it with all of you. Um, so let's start this video, as always, letting you know what materials you'll get in your material supply kit. For those folks who have registered for this program, we hope you are aware that currently curbside service has been suspended. We will notify you when you are able to come and pick up your material supply kit, um, and then you'll be able to come back to this video and watch it and make the craft. So let me show you what is inside the bag of materials that you'll get. Um, first, you'll need a bit of glue. We've got a craft bond glue pen here. You'll get the green felt pennant piece itself here. Additionally, in the bag, there'll be two um, sandwich bags full of material. So one will be the edge pieces and tassel pieces. You should have both blue and green. And the final bag in here will be specific to your kit. So you want to make sure that when you do come to pick up your material that you get the bag that has the word or name that you've requested for your pennant so that you know that you're making the right one. All right, this one's a pretty straightforward one. Let's get crafting. Felt is one of my favorite materials to work with on the laser cutter. With good settings, the heat of the laser melts the edge of the felt, essentially creating a seal. Using too little power and the cuts won't go all the way through the material and I end up with a frayed edge. But too much power and that melting effect goes beyond the edge and can warp what you're trying to create. This is especially an issue for detailed cuts. For this project, I'm using a 95 speed setting and between 35 and 40 on the power. These cuts go pretty quickly. In addition to sharing his files, Luke suggested a 13 and a half degree tilt to the word files and several font options, which I really appreciated. His suggestions for how to prep the name files in Inkscape using the object of path and union were really helpful in creating an SVG that has only the cuts that we needed. So we've got all our pieces and we are ready to put our felt pennants together. Um, as I mentioned, because of the extra bit of time that I had, I was able to cut um, extra bits in both blue and green uh, for your edge here. And then you'll have your uh, word or last name that you requested and your craft bond glue. When you look at your felt pieces, you'll see that the laser cutter definitely affects the edges. Um, and you'll be able to tell kind of which side looks a little bit better. And so you'll want to definitely um, look very closely at your pieces to see um, which side the felt is maybe burned a little bit more and which side the felt looks a little bit better. The word is going to be one particular way because that's the way the word is. Um, so I'm really going to have to decide whether I want blue accents or whether I want the green accents to go with my word. Um, before I even start gluing, I'm going to go ahead and put my pieces on here so that I get a sense of where it will go and then I'll bring my glue in. You'll see that the words, this font is lobster. Um, some of the pieces of the words or perhaps the majority of your word will be connected to each other um, so that it is just one piece but some of it will be separate. So you'll have to kind of place it on there. So if I want the end of my Pflugerville right here, I need to make sure I have enough room for the rest of my word to come after it. Oop, a little too close. And because it's felt on felt, if you've been to any story times, you'll be familiar. They do actually kind of stick to itself um, so that you can get a sense without using the finality of the glue itself. All right, I think I like that. Just so I don't lose the dot of my eye, I'm going to go ahead and put that on there as well. Maybe this comes down just a little. Now it's time to decide what I want to do for my edge. Um, so just to kind of test, I'm going to go ahead and put blue on one, 
green on the other. Got my two tassels put there. Um, and then I'm going to put my edge piece over top and see, do I like the blue with the blue or perhaps I'll use a green tassel with the blue or I can test with the green. Do I like the green with the green tassel or perhaps the green with the blue tassel with the blue um, text. So for this one, I think I like the blue edge. It's the tassels I want to decide. And I think I like the green tassels, so I'm going to mix it up a little bit. So I'm going to set my blue tassels and my green edge aside. And I'm going to want my green tassels and my blue edge. Uh, this glue won't need to be uh, cut or anything when it opens, so be careful when you pull the lid off. You don't want to squeeze too hard, otherwise glue will already be coming out. And um, we got these precision tip uh, glue pens, so hopefully it'll be a little bit easier. So I'm just going to take one of my tassels, put a little bit of glue here on the end, place it down. Same for my second tassel. I also want to make sure that I'm not putting my tassels too far in so that when I put my edge piece over those are covered. So I'd say probably half an inch, maybe not quite a full inch on there. And I'm just doing a little bit of glue here on tassel, second tassel, patting it down. And you can see I'm not using too much glue so that, um, although that one I had a little bit too much glue, it's starting to come all the way through the felt. Which these will be hidden so it won't be such a big deal. But I definitely want to make sure that for the letters I'm using just a small amount. Um, since this is where I know I want my text to be, I'm going to do one piece at a time. Small line of glue. I'm going to even spread that a little with my finger. And I'm really not needing to squeeze very much on this glue pen to get a pretty good lay down. So I am going to, there we go, a little bit more the spread and you can see this glue is definitely seeping in somewhat to the felt itself. I'm going to make sure I have some glue here on the edge of the E so that it really gets tacked down. And I'm going to flip them over and gently place back down making sure And this glue will dry clear. Um, so as you see, there's probably a little bit of glue that's poking through, but that's all right. Just add a little couple more glue spots right under the edges. Once it's hanging, ooh, you'll be able to tell if any more spots need glue. All right, I got my dot for the eye there. Let's get some glue on our V here. And all the way around the edge to the dot point. There we go. Bring my V right down. Tap it down. And for the longer pieces, it's going to be a little bit tougher to really place it down where you want. And I would say you're going to want to be as careful as possible only because. Um, the glue will affect the nap of the felt. So if you have to remove a piece, if it gets set down a little bit crooked or not quite where you want it, um, you will be able to pick it pretty much right up and get it uh, repositioned. But you may have some glue spots on the felt where um, you had placed it initially. All right. And you can see, as I mentioned, the glue is kind of 
soaking into the felt itself as I get to the farther layers. All right, I'm just gonna come back and add a little bit more over here on my early ones. And grab a corner. Ooh. All right, so I'm gonna try and hold the later part of the text up and so it doesn't go down onto the pennant until I really want to place it. This is a craft that um, our wonderful volunteers um, Luke created um, and his wife Laura that they made using heat press vinyl for the text. It turned out awesome but this way with the felt on felt you kind of get a 3D effect. Um, you also get the ability not to have to have a heat press at home and to be able to use a felt glue or even if you are very handy you could do you could actually stitch these letters on um, with either really with a needle and thread or if you have a sewing machine you could sew them on and that would definitely make them a little bit longer lasting all right, so I've got my word, my Pflugerville right on there. I'm probably not exactly at a, a ruler straight 13 degrees on here, um, but since I'm eyeballing it, I kind of really like it. So now we're able to put our edge piece on. I've got my glue. I'm going to do right around. Alright, so go down, bring this guy over, position him, bring it down. Alright, and I'm going to let this dry, let this glue dry for um, a few hours before I hang it. Something like this, I would use probably some command strips. Um, or even push pins or something like that um, to hang it on a wall. And there you have it, one felt pennant. I hope you enjoyed the craft. <laughs>